Do you need to nail that next big presentation? Then I've got the feature for you. Hi, I'm Stuart Ridout and I am a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft and today I want to talk to you about presentations. Now lots of us don't like giving presentations and we get nervous if we're having to speak to a group of key stakeholders about something that's really important. But did you know that there is a tool built into PowerPoint on the web that allows you to rehearse and gives you your own presentation coach? No. Now that's because lots of people don't have a look at the web versions of the Office tools that come with Office 365. And you should definitely do that because a lot of the new features appear in the web version first because it's easier for the product team to get them into the web version rather than going into the desktop version, which has to be updated and then go through processes within uh, IT within the organization. So let's have a look at Presenter Coach because I think it is something that you would find really valuable um, when you're next planning your big presentation. So let's have a look here. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go to office.com because uh, as I said, it's PowerPoint on the web here. Uh, and I can see here's uh, all of my files and down the side here is uh, my PowerPoint icon. So I'm gonna click there and we're gonna be looking at the new employee onboarding day deck. Um, and I want to practice that because I'm uh, doing some onboarding, talking to a group of new employees, and I want to make sure that they feel really, really comfortable. So here it is, it's loaded in PowerPoint Online. And the first thing you'll notice is just for a few seconds, it is grayed out, um, but then after that, the rehearse with coach option then um, becomes ready. And it opens up full screen. And you can see here, this is exactly the same as if you were on uh, the desktop, except there's this start rehearsing. So what I'm gonna do is, um, is hit that start rehearsing button, making sure that I've got show real time feedback on as well. So I get that. So I'm going to start that now. Welcome to Contoso. This is our onboarding deck. Um, and we're going to be going through some of the things that could be really important to you as part of uh, your onboarding. Uh, so my name's Diego and I'm the HR manager. So uh, we've got a few days here as part of our onboarding process. And, you know, we're going to be uh, doing great things here to make sure that everybody is super comfortable here uh, and make sure that everybody gets fully onboarded really, really well. So I'm going to talk through this so you can see there's a nice little prompt there to say you've got it. Keep going. Um, okay, so let's move on and look at the key to onboarding success. So settle into the office and your team, find a checklist of actions to complete and resources to leverage during your first week. And that's part of the settle in. Ah, so we can see here now that it's detected that I'm reading the slide to it. So you need to summarize it rather than do that. And it's also picked up that I'm using some filler words there as well. So we need to use the available resources. So I'm going to talk about all of these things and I'm purposely going quite slowly, but looking at how you go through weekly check-ins uh, with managers and, uh, th and you need to make sure that you use all of those resources as part of that. And uh, this is a little uncomfortably slow. And sometimes when somebody's doing a presentation, they do a really monotone voice, even when they're talking about something like an onboarding buddy and helping people to succeed, they don't always present it in the most interesting way. So a monotone presentation, so we can see that it's picked up that my pitch isn't quite right. And then when we talk about this, we might be talking very, very quickly. So, you know, if you're somebody who's really not conscious of time, then you might speak very, very quickly and talk about finding mentors and having the mentors in the same role as associate and things like this. And again, we can see here that it's picked up. I'm speaking quite quickly uh, and to slow that down a little bit. So in summary, guys, you know, we're looking for the best man for the job. And we want to make sure that everybody is, uh, is, is really up to speed uh, with what they're doing. And, um, you know, and I hope you guys are really happy. Okay, so I've got to the end of my rehearsal um, and I can see here I've got my rehearsal report and it's full of really interesting information already telling me how much time I've spent, how many slides I had, etc. Now here it's telling me about my filler words saying that I use you know and um 
Um, so I can now start to try and stay away from that. Then I've got this originality section here. So this tells me that I've just been reading slide three and that I might want to consider summarizing it because people don't really like to be uh, read to from a PowerPoint slide. So definitely something to practice there. And um, it shows me my pace, but you can see here there are times where I spoke a little bit more quickly um, and there are times where I spoke a little bit more slowly through that, that painful moment there. And again, with the pitch here, uh, you can see where we were had a more varied pitch and where there was a more monotonous pitch there. Um, and then we've got here these sensitive phrases. So I threw in their best man for the job. So it suggested best choice for the job, more inclusive there. Uh, and I said, you guys, um, and it's saying, you just need to say you. Don't say you guys, just say you. Um, and then what's also got here are some speech refinements. So things that I've said and that it says, you know, you don't really need to. So instead of saying you're doing really well, just say you're doing well. Um, and that that really is maybe extraneous. You might need to, it's just something you can review there and you can scroll through those. Um, you can go through now and rehearse again um, after you've taken that feedback on board. And then there is also this, um, this star rating here to say, how was your experience with the presenter coach? So that that feedback comes back into the product team um, and that they can make it better um, because it continually evolves. So hopefully that's something you found really, really useful, whether you're doing it for work, whether you're doing it for school, whether it's something your kids need to do, whether you're a student and you need to uh, practice a presentation. I would definitely have a look at Presenter Coach in PowerPoint on the web as part of your Office 365 subscription. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great presentation. Thank you.